Well, hello, beautiful souls. This is going to be your collective reading for the collective energy. Of course, as I always say, check the collective playlist and see if there's any title that resonates with you and watch that one, okay? There will also be an extended to this one um, where we'll go into another spread digging deeper into whatever situation we're going to talk about and each individual sign and how that, that reading impacts you, okay? So, let's see. We have Shadow, Seven of Pentacles, and ooh, Transformation, which is the Death card. Oh, oh, oh. Definitely, we've been facing something, something tough with this shadow card you know digging deep into a situation that maybe we didn't want to see the other side of things we didn't want to see what was going to come out of that but there came a time where you had to see where you were going you know um and i feel like it led you here it gave you some sort of wheel to push some sort of decisive thought together so it puts you into some action okay Right now, during this time, this is about working on that. This is about implementing it. This is about putting it into your life and making it work for you. This is investing, okay? But you do have to make the decision to want to do this, you know? This is like uh, following life purposes. This is like expanding spiritually energy. And I love that the death card is here because it talks about this coming to an end but because you have been investing something beautiful is coming out of it okay all right so what cards are we going to use let's use the morgan greer okay so i'm doing this a little differently Today. The tower moment leads me to believe that you think this is that energy where it just feels like things are falling apart. Things are changing in your life and you're not sure. Some some idea that you held dear is has now fell to the ground. And that transition is really hard, that transition of acceptance. But it is to allow something beautiful to come in. But I feel like in the midst of this energy, it's scary. That's scary. Let's see what the tower says. It almost feels like there was a, a conflict in your life or something you didn't want to make a decision on, you know. And if you notice, if we don't make that decision, spirit will eventually make that decision for you. And that's what happened. Things just started falling apart, okay. But it's all in fairness. It's all in fairness and beauty. This is to get you in a certain direction, you know, for the greater of your, the greater good of your purpose of your life, the bigger picture. Yeah, it's going to bring about healing and balance. You are going to feel a little bit vulnerable, though. I definitely feel that in this energy, this vulnerability. In the past, some of you were dealing with someone who just wouldn't change or this could be even a situation that wouldn't change okay um they were just stuck in the past and you were ready to move forward you know i feel like you emotionally slowly started leaving this behind and wanting something more wanting something better stronger even yeah this person is definitely trapped in their own ways their own thoughts own situations it's like they don't want to get out of it they don't they it makes them feel comfortable to not dig deep to not think about it to just be like well this is how it is this is how it it's going to be right but i feel like you want it more and you had to make a decision for yourself you know some of you had to make sure that you were secure enough uh if you wanted to move that you were secure enough to move or that you were okay with your decision, you know? Hmm. 
Yeah, this was causing too much confusion. Trying to figure out how things were going to go. It could be that the situation was just too confusing, you know? Some of you have cleared through the confusion about choosing someone else in your life that you maybe wanted more than this person or they have and are deciding to go that way. So this would have freed them enough to be able to do that. It all happened because I feel like someone had to weigh their options about what made them happy and what didn't. Someone cut somebody off here and then realized that their happiness was there and was confused about how to go get it. And now someone is either coming towards you or you're going towards them. Yeah, this place feels more abundant. This place, this person feels like there's more potential. More potential there. And something that could be steady. Something that you can fit into your life really easily. And it doesn't feel like it's going to be a conflict. I feel like the, con the conflict is opening up your heart to someone or expressing how you feel to them. And that could be for you or this other person, okay? Hmm. The key here, the base here, is somebody needed a wake-up call that it was time to move on. But the thing is, they had to feel that energy inside of them to move on. But I feel like they came to a point where they had they have to make a decision. They have to move forward. You can't fight it once you've seen it, you know? Once you know the truth, you can't fight it. Yeah. So someone's decided to go along with the wake up call and get up out of this situation. They've had plenty of time to think about it, and I feel like they've had lots of transitions and things happen in their life where they, re they made this realization. And it kind of... Spirit is not giving them a choice. Yeah, it's time to move forward into something that is more healthier emotionally, I'm getting. And gives you some excitement about being in it. This could be a job. This could be a person. It's just something that makes you more excited. Something that feels like an opportunity, you know. Something where love is reciprocal and you're just not the one doing it for a lot of you. But I feel like you're going towards, for those of you, someone who really cares about you. And it's going to be a new beginning, which makes me think this person is a little bit different than you are. And that might have been the a bit of uh, given the hesitancy for some of you. Okay, so let's see where we're going here with this. Ooh, definitely something is picking up, okay? But some of you need to watch out for investments. Making some sort of rash investment. But it's almost like it doesn't sustain its energy. So it gets really exciting and there's this new beginning that's probably a shock to you. But I feel like it feels more like a crush or an exciting little moment that you wanted to create for yourself. But as far as stability goes, we still haven't gotten there. So this is like the beginning of something that could be stable, but it's almost like it's you're not communicating with each other. Yeah, some people are used to keeping things inside of their head or to themselves, I feel. Um, just from, I feel like that's how you have been living or coping, kind of. But that's the problem. I feel like you're not expressing it or they're not expressing it. But yeah, this new beginning is here. And what's interesting is it's playing on your weaknesses. But you have to keep pushing through here. That's interesting. 
it almost makes me feel like somebody got over the hump of being scared to talk to someone. But then immediately got scared. Some of you, some of them had to leave to deal with another situation to get balanced. Hmm. It's like they have to fix something. Something that won't let them go. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So, let's pull some love cards. Yeah, I feel like for those of you who were waiting on someone or waiting to make a move, that this person is coming in. They definitely are. Um, I don't feel like they're trying to do anything weird. I think they're just scared of the investment part. They're either scared that they're not bringing in the right energy the right resources I don't, it's like there's a fear here or they could be still dealing with someone else not in a way to keep them but maybe they can't get rid of them because it feels like somebody really wants you the, the drive is there like it is revealed that is it yeah but there's some sort of problem where they can't emotionally open up. So it's like they're trying to deal with a situation or a person that won't let them go. But they're trying to move on. They're trying to shift out of this. Yeah, they're making bad decisions when it comes to love because they're scared that they're not going to be happy. And because of this fear that they have of maybe not being sure if something is for them or not. But, you know, it to me it is. I don't see anything other than that. It almost feels soulmatey to me. Like, this is someone that attracts you because you want to try them. Yeah, I feel like it's going to take a little bit of courage dealing with this person. Um, and find some sort of balance until things get balanced. But what I can tell you is there is definitely communication. There's definitely a connection here. But it's almost like instead of being behind the scenes, you're more in front of the scenes of what's happening. I feel like you're trying to build something for the future here. This person has very grandeur thoughts right now. Like they want to marry you. They see you having children together, all that kind of stuff. But I feel like it took that much either for you or them to see to actually make a move or to do something about it. It had to be, you know, like that extreme. Okay. All right, I'll see you in the extended. If not, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.